Hey everyone, it's Michael here from goodyreader.com. Are you in the market for a new Kobo e-reader? I would wait because there's three new devices that are coming out. There's the Kobo Clara with black and white screen, a Kobo Clara with an e-ink color display, and yet another device, the Kobo Libra Color. All of these new color e-readers are going to be hitting the streets on May the 8th of 2024. How do I know this? Well, a number of large retailers release product specs early. And when we published our story, they quickly, you know, shuttered the listings. And so they're not available. And because they only went up today, uh, they're not available on the Wayback Machine or anything like that. So... Basically, the Kobo Clara Color and Libra Color are using e and Kaleido 3, which means that you'll have a black and white uh, PPI of 300 and color PPI of 150. So the Libra is especially interesting because it actually has compatibility with the Kobo Pencil 2. It's sold separately and it's about like $100 or so, and they sell replacement nibs and everything like that. So you could actually do highlights, annotations, draw, and everything that you could do with say the Kobo Ellipsa, but now you can do it in color. I think this is interesting because Kobo is the number two worldwide retailer of e-readers. Amazon is number one. And incidentally, Amazon is going to be releasing a Kindle sometime in 2024 as well. But Kobo, Rakuten Kobo, that is, will be the first large company to release color e-readers in 2024. Color e-readers are nothing new. There's a lot of Kaleido 3 devices that are hit the market in all different screen sizes. Uh, Pocketbook has the Inkpad Color 3, the upcoming uh, Era Color, Onyx Books, iReader, iFlyTech, BigMe, and all sorts of other retailers have all varying screen sizes, both e-readers and digital note-taking devices using e Kaleido 3. So what is Kaleido 3? Well, it's basically a color filter array. And so it makes it more affordable than using alternative color technologies. Well, what's a color filter array? Think of it as like a small layer on top of an e-reader. It's uh, basically a small little layer that's right below the touch screen and right above the frontlet display. And this is both, you know, that illuminates the e-reader with both either a front light and color temperature system. So amber and white LED lights. In the past, e-reader companies would actually put the LEDs alongside the sides of the bezel and project light evenly across the screen. But that would create light blotches. Ever since e-ink developed a new gel layer for the frontlet technology, it's most e-readers these days have the luminosity of the Kindle Paperwhite, which is almost the best in class in terms of a frontlet display. So these two e-readers from Kobo will actually have those technologies. So what we do know is that the Libra Color is going to be retailing for $249 Canadian or $189 US. So it'll be sold on the Kobo website. Um as well as you know, Walmart, Chapters Indigo. So who are the companies that leaked this early? Are they just no-name companies? Well, no. FUNAC, F-N-A-C, is the largest retailer in France for Kobo. They've been a long-standing Kobo partner. And Chapters Indigo in Canada also put the listing up early. And they are the largest retailer in Canada. So they're the Can- Canada's largest bookstore. And they both sell Kobo e-readers online and in the stores as well. So uh, there's also... Uh, Chapters Indigo not only leaked both e-readers, but also the new cases, which haven't been taken down yet. And it says it's compatible with the Kobo Clara Color, uh, although there is no listing or price anywhere for the Kobo uh, Clara Color. There was a few other retailers, smaller retailers that were authorized Kobo uh, retailers a couple weeks ago that actually put the Clara Color up early. But we do know it's the Kobo Clara Color because 
these cases are compatible only with the Cobalt Clara color. It says so on the product description page. I'll link this in the video. But the colors are Candy Pink, Cayenne Red, Misty Green, and Black. And so he, we uh, also link to the article that we wrote because I actually copy and pasted the des description page of the new uh, Kobo on it. So, but we do know a few things that it's using, uh, it's compatible with the Kobo Stylus 2. It's, uh, there's a journal, daily planner, book club prep and more. So in terms of templates, uh, it has compatibility with the Kobo Cloud, Dropbox, and Google Drive. Uh, it has page turn buttons, both uh, left, right. Um, so it has screen orientation, so left and right-handed users could do this. Uh, Comfort, Pro, Comfort Pro display. Uh, it also says that the Cobra Libra color is built to last. This e-reader is also repairable, so you can extend its life and replace key components. That's actually very interesting. It has an IPX8 rating, so it's waterproof for up to 60 minutes in two meters of water. It has 32 gigs of storage and it will hold 150 audiobooks or two, 24,000 e-books, and this is the Libra color I'm talking about. Uh, you can listen to audiobooks with built-in Bluetooth. And it says that the e-reader will last up to 40 days based on reading 30 minutes of reading per day. Um, the front light, uh, yeah, so basically they're saying that, you know, you get 40 days based on extenuating factors that the bright front light is only at 30% with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth uh, shut off. So do people care about color e-readers? Because, you know, this is a large, Rakuten Kobo is not a small company. They're the largest company um, in terms of selling e-readers worldwide, and they are the global number two player. So it's interesting that they're getting involved in the color e-readers, and it's gonna be out relatively soon. I mean, uh, it's April right now, and May is like basically a month away. So we will be, you know, having reviews and previews and everything on our, our YouTube channel and written reviews on our blog. And you can actually buy these e-readers from us on our online store as well. But color e-readers, people who love Kobo e-readers are torn. Some people are saying that they don't want color e-readers. Other people are saying, you know, take my money, you know, um, the fry meme. But I'll leave it up to you guys uh, in the comments below. Will you buy a Kobo color e-reader or will you stick with the black and white Kobo e-readers? This color is somewhat appealing to you. Don't forget, there's some appealing things with color, such as comics, uh, colored manga. Kobo does have a web browser, so you'd be able to browse the web in full color. So you could read webtoons online. You could read uh, all sorts of color on digital content online. You can see pictures online. You can draw and make highlights uh, with full colors. I mean, there's some there's something to this color thing, but it, I remember the CEO of Kobo, Michael Tamlin. He told me about three or four years ago that Kobo will never do a color e-reader because color, um, there's always, it looks muted and there's always like a saturation problem, which is true. You know, color e-ink technology in terms of Kaleido 3 can only display 4,500 colors. So there really isn't a lot of colors. I mean, let's say it's like any, anywhere between four and like 5,000 different colors, just for, for you know sake. So that's not a lot of colors. So colors do look a bit muted, whereas Gallery 3 can display 50,000 colors, but it's unproven tech. There's only one e-reader that was ever released that employed this technology, the Goody Reader Big Me Galley, which was, not very good on release, but after like 12 firmware updates, it's actually pretty good, but it requires a ton of engineering time. There's not a lot of like documentation from e-ink or anything available online. So it's almost like a, 
a baptism by fire. Drop a comment below. I want to hear your thoughts on these two new color e-readers coming out soon. What do you think? And for goodyreader.com, my name is Michael, and everybody take care.